Get your mind right, it is Leo season. Leo's fire sign favorites, welcome back to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot. These are your August and Leo season general messages. Work, career here, singles love here, couples love here. Leos know that. Um, check the description box for the extended love readings for singles and couples. That information will be there. Um, and the overall energy for Leo season and the month of August is using the Grandma Baby's Black and Gold Lenormand deck. We have the moon. So dreams, um, manifesting things. This could be the things that you've been thinking about, focusing on. This could be you just focusing on the, your dreams and the things that you really want this season. Using all of the um, these birthday wishes, all this good fortune of this month to your advantage. In business, we'll hop right into it in this first row. Um, Leos, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, find me on Instagram, reach out to me for a personal reading. Um, overall, in money and finance, you have the nine of baskets, Leo. This is you being the total package here, and this is you being very selfless in how you've poured yourself into work, your business here. Um, this is you being the employee that everybody wants to um, go to for things or ask questions to, but this, Leo, is you also being the total package here. This is you and your business, this is your brand. Having everything that somebody needs to maybe take your not just yourself but them to the next level here. This is you having all the tools necessary to be successful. And with this five of baskets underneath this, more water sign energy we're coming out of cancer season into Leo season. And with this five of baskets in reverse, maybe you're coming up off of a heartbreak here, but you're avoiding a lot of drama with this five of baskets in reverse and just focusing on yourself and your money right now, Leo. Okay, hopping right into it. It's the three of knives. Definitely feeling that heartbreak energy here. This is um, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could have been dealing with here. Or this was a heartbreak situation due to communication in the workplace. Um, maybe a lack of communication. Maybe somebody had promised you some things in the workplace or with a business deal and they didn't come through here. Maybe they even stabbed you in the back, work with your competition or somebody who you're just not feeling in the workspace, that could be that. Let me know how this is resonating down in the comment section as well. Leo, you have the eight of coins. This is earth sign energy here. Um, this is you coming up with a plan, maybe after this heartbreak, avoiding this drama. This is you coming up with a plan. And again, going back to this dream, or excuse me, this moon, manifesting, focusing on your dreams, your intentions. This is that. This is you doing some um, background work, maybe coming up with a plan, even though these people don't realize, ooh, Leo. This is you being very strategic in your moves and coming up with a plan here after this heartbreak, this betrayal situation here. You refocused, wrote down your goals, wrote down a plan of action here, and good things are coming your way. You're about to get blessed here. And with this father of baskets, the king of cups, this is money overflowing to you. This is opportunities overflowing for you. Leo, this is you networking all over the place. This king of cups, while this is a king, this is a um, father figure, somebody who is a figure of authority, this is you being able to move and work a crowd, Leo. Because again, this is business, not love on this particular um, set of cards. This is you being able to walk into a room and command all of the attention. Talking to this person, talking to that person, getting numbers, networking, doing your thing. Okay, Leo, this is you. This father of baskets energy is just you being the life of the party, wherever it is that you choose to go in these networking situations. And Leo, more of this earth sign energy here in this finance, business, career reading here with the nine of pentacles. This is Virgo energy, more earth sign energy. This is you being the total package here. Single, independent, focus on the bag. This is total package, cat on your lap, relax, martini in your hand, writing down those goals, pen in hand, yes. Leo, this is you, again, with this eight of coins energy, the eight and the nine, focusing on your goals. Not just writing things down, but relax, knowing that you're going to get these things and putting in the work. Yes, yes, yes. Leo's blessings and money is coming your way. Whatever you thought you were missing, you're coming to, you are going to get that. Everything you want is coming your way. And single Leo's in love, overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Libra energy with this justice card. You are getting ready to make some major decisions here, whether that is whether that be to stay single here or maybe make a major decision to level up, um, move forward in a major way with, ooh, are you getting ready to move forward in a major way with somebody you've been dating, Leo? Ooh, single Leos with this three of pentacles underneath this justice card, more earth sign energy here. This is things coming together. Maybe you have three people that you're courting right now, or maybe you're ready to just invest in one person right now. Ooh, and with this queen of fire, Leo, this is 
the mistress card. So is this that somebody is hot, they're focused on their bag just like you are. Maybe you meet this person in the workplace or maybe this person has you in a third party situation and that's what's got your eye attention. The fact that this is taboo, you're not supposed to be doing this thing, but you're ready to make a major decision here. And maybe you're ready to make a major decision here and take somebody out of this third party situation, maybe this third party dating situation and level up with them. Maybe you only have eyes for this person. And with this high priestess energy, ooh, and with this high priestess energy underneath this queen of wands, Leo, there are secrets here. Things being swept up underneath the rug. There are some conversations that need to be had. Ooh, Leo, single Leos. Let me know who this person is down in the comment section. More air sign energy. Um, with the 10 of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you block somebody. Block somebody or somebody is going crazy because they haven't heard from you with this 10 of swords energy. This is block communication, block information here. Maybe you even ghosted somebody or somebody ghosted you thinking that they were going to go out on a dinner date here. What is that about? But communication being a major issue here. And with this Leo energy, excuse me, not Leo, but this Libra energy that we had with this justice card at the bottom of the deck. Are you walking away from a Libra? Ooh, or an air sign person that you've made a major decision about. More major arcana here with the Emperor Aries energy. More fire sign energy. This is you taking control of a situation here. And peep this, um, this sword, this machete here. This is communication information. This is you taking control of a situation and com through communication is what I feel like. This is you like maybe even doing the pull up, marching up and confronting somebody about something and communicating, making sure you're very clear in your communication about this thing. Ooh, are you being clear about this communication about leveling up, moving out of this third party situation here? And with this eight of cups, you are walking away from something, making a major move here, a major decision here with this eight of cups, just this energy at the bottom of the deck, walking away from something that is very emotional here. And again, with this blocking communication here with this 10 of swords, who did you walk away from recently, Leo? Was it this air sign person? Maybe um, it wasn't just Libra, it was a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius, all this heavy air sign energy walking away from something. Ooh, but somebody's caught your eye here. Maybe a Taurus here with this hair font. Another major arcana here. Single Leos, somebody's coming out of the woodwork here to not make you single anymore. Who is this person that has caught your eye? Maybe this Taurus person. Maybe this person is very stubborn. Or maybe this is your stubborn energy here. But somebody with, this, with these two queens here, these two people dressed in white, a serious relationship for those of you single Leos is coming your way. Somebody's coming to lock you down or you're coming to lock somebody else down, but somebody's caught your eye in a major way. This is a marriage card to me of the major arcana. Somebody's coming to commit. Somebody is coming to commit to you after you walked away from somebody due to a communication issue. And with this queen of cups, Leo, this is you having faith, having hope, praying for this, this dream person to walk in, and they do. Shutting down this negative energy, this past energy allows this person to come rushing into you. Not just rushing into you to entertain you or to match you or to have a good time, but all this water in this picture, this is emotions. This person is pouring into you. Maybe they're even being very vulnerable with you early on, Leo. Leo, somebody is coming to sweep you up off of your feet and commit to you in a major way with this queen of wands, um, hair font energy coming to commit to you. And again, with this justice energy at the bottom of the deck for single Leos, making a major decision here. Some of you are not going to be single anymore. Let me know how that resonated for you, single Leos, down in the comment section. Also, look for the description box for the extended um, singles and couples readings. Cut Leos that are coupled. More Virgo energy here with the hair font. This is you guys pulling away, maybe pulling away to do some research here, to do some introspection here, um, maybe doing some soul searching, maybe um, on a spiritual journey here, but this is you pulling away, maybe due to a lack of communication here, or what is this conflict? And maybe, maybe there's a control issue here, because this is the energy at the bottom of the deck. More Aries energy with the Emperor control power here, but this could also be you taking control back, Leo, is that the case that there, you've had to pull away due to a lack of control here, not feeling in control or just not knowing what the hell was going on in this relationship here? Underneath that is the five of wands, more fire sign energy, chaos and confusion. So maybe that's the issue. There's a lack of control here and now you've pulled away until you can figure some things out. And with this eight of pentacles, we also had this at the beginning of the reading. This is you setting your intentions with this moon energy this dream focusing on the things that you really really want this season during your birthday season leo this is you coming up with a master plan with this eight of pentacles earth sign energy and with this page of pentacles this is ooh. 
Some of you have manifested, pulled away because you are manifesting a brand new start with this person. You really love them. You don't want to walk away. You want to walk, you want to start brand new with them. Be carefree, start fresh, wipe the slate clean with this Page of Pentacles um, full card energy. Leos, you want this relationship to work out, but you're taking a little break right now, maybe to recharge. And with this 10 of wands, more fire sign energy, you had to take some time away just to focus on yourself here. What I'm getting is with this owl here, this owls are always Libra energy to me. There is an issue of communication here. So you've pulled away, backed away while you're still giving them a little bit of communication here and there. You're not fully opening up to this person. You have completely, what I feel like, shut down because you're just trying to focus on yourself so that you can come back to this relationship brand new, offering something new. Because you do want this to work out. You, Leo, you're not wanting to back away from this relationship as much as you're wanting it to work out. You want a fresh start with this person. And with this 10 of wands, this kind of breadcrumbing energy here, while this person is feeling breadcrumbed by you or maybe you by this person, this person is just giving you these little bits of maybe text messages here, maybe one word text messages or small short answers here because they want to keep the lines of communication open, but they're just not ready to speak right now with this 10 of wands energy. They're trying to take your time, whether it be you or this other person, um, to figure some things out before they come back to this. Again, because they want it to work out. And with this Queen of Cups, water sign energy here, this is having hope, having faith. Leo, this is you and this other person here with it being right here in the middle. Both of you want this to work out. Having hope, having faith, manifesting. Both of you, what I'm getting, Leo, is both, you are each other's dream person, okay? You are this Aqu that Aquarius, that 17, that star card dream, manifested energy here. This is you having hope and faith that this thing can work out. And with this 10 of wands, this leaving um, Hansel and Gretel, leaving things behind, you guys are not walking. This is not a permanent breakup here or a pulling away. This is just an emotional, both people pulling, needing to pull away and reassess and readjust and come back together. Leo, this is not the end. And with this nine of pentacles, Virgo energy here, we have had this at the top of the reading as well as right here. This is somebody being the total package. Leo, this could be you or your person. Maybe you're dealing with an earth sign person here. But this is you being very focused on your back here, and that could be this disconnect. You're so focused on your money right now because everything is coming your way. You've been blessed beyond measure um, during cancer season and coming into your birthday month. That is not going to stop for you, okay? This is you chopping away, but also working on this relationship. Also seeing and valuing this person as the person that you want to be with, as your sun, your moon, the stars, everything here with this Nine of Pentacles energy. And then with this death card in reverse, Leo, this is not an ending. This is one door is closing so new doors can open. This is getting that fresh start. If this was in the right side up, I would say, honey, this is an ending and both people are ready for this to go here and transition smoothly out of this. But this is not an ending. This is wiping the slate clean. You guys are pulling away. You need to have some communication here. That's what this is. So while you are focusing on this relationship, focusing on coming together and building a future and a legacy with each other on this, this is what's pulled you apart. But you guys want this to work out. So with this death card energy in reverse, Scorpio energy here, transition, transformation, this is you coming up out of this situation. Again, Virgo energy, Virgo energy, taking this time to reground yourself in the situation. Reground, using this, those cancer season waters maybe to, maybe it got a little emotional, to renew you, baptize you, come up out of those waters fresh and brand new, wiping the slate clean. Again, you're putting, you're writing things down, manifesting, putting in the work here behind the scenes so that you can come back, again, more earth sign energy with this um, hermit energy here at the beginning of this reading for um, coupled Leos. This is you putting in the work, coming up with a plan here while you're away, while you're pulling away, to say, what is it that I'm going to do when I come back to bring back to the situation to get us back on track here? And with this emperor energy, getting back on track, figuring out what this chaos and confusion all is all about and regaining control here. Because at the bottom of all that is the Ten of Cups, Leo, happiness happiness in love. This is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This is the Disney princess happy ending here. Leo, this is about to work out for you in love. This, There is all love here between you and this person. And the overall energy during your birthday season, Leo, is, is the moon dreaming, manifesting these things. We had the Aquarius, um, the full moon in Aquarius just the other night. Take that, manifest that. Write down what you want. Write down what you want for your birthday, whether it's already passed or not. Leo's take advantage of this time being in your energy. It's all fire. Whatever you want to do, you are going to take over and have it. Leo's, let me know how this resonated for you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the description box for the extended singles and um 
couples, love readings, and Leo fire sign favorites. I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real.